Huddersfield Long Barrow. fireworks off tonight. Alice has gone out to take a few photographs and um, I'm staying here in the van to drown out the noise so as the dogs can't hear it hopefully. <clears throat> Till they come to get me 
I shall hold your hand in mine. And here's another little um, uh, spooky Halloween type song to uh, drown out the noise of the fireworks, hopefully. bit of a wild wet and windy one this morning this is our view out the window nice and cozy in here and the kettle's on for a cup of tea wild out here but at least it's dry at the moment. That's where we spent a very quiet night apart from the fireworks which were early-ish. Just about to go for our walk.
spoiling the picture having a poo. This is part of the Cotswold Way, one of the many long distance paths we've done over the years from end to end. Forgotten how pretty it was. We've reached Hetty Pegler's Tump. Okay, it's a bit dark in here, but we've got a torch. But this is fascinating because you can actually see the construction of a, a long barrow. That's the capstone. Oh, sunlight flooding in through the, the uh, front door. A little, little chamber in here. It's difficult to see. And that's as far as it goes at the back. Oh, there's another little chamber here. How fascinating. Somebody's left some apples. Somebody's left another apple there. This is amazing. Oh. Alistair started off on this walk with me, but he got sidetracked because he saw somebody about to uh, fly their aeroplane back on the Coley Peak. And I'm expecting him to get lost because he hasn't got a brilliant sense of direction. And seeing as I had to deviate off the Cotswold Way to get to this tump, he probably have no idea where I've gone. Well, he knows where I've gone or where I was heading for. I doubt very much if he'll take the right path. Looks like the dogs are just guarding the tomb. Well, Alistair hadn't turned up yet. Hopefully, he's still chatting to that guy flying his plane. Somebody's come a cropper here at some stage by the looks of it. Bet 
like that did some damage. Dogs are sitting nicely. Good dogs. We've stopped off at the best camping shop ever. This place is just huge. It's got everything, absolutely everything you need. This is the place to come to. Alistair said I should keep away from the tents and I promise I'm not going to buy another one. lunchtime destination. This could be our last meal out before the second lockdown. When will we eat out again? Who knows? <laughs> 